Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Here's one that I'm very proud of. This is uh, the GE Blockbuster. Uh, not only is it a beautiful looking radio, but it's also a fully functioning GE Blockbuster. I just got done replacing all the parts that fail on this, uh, including uh, let's hold of these caps. Took the caps from the uh, amplifier section and the power board, <clears throat> replaced those with new caps. I uh, cleaned all the controls. I ordered a uh, a 3D printed uh, plastic piece that fails on these units 100% of the time to prevent the playhead from going up and making contact with the cassette playback. I also lubricated all the um, <clears throat> all the tape mechanism, uh, did a thorough cleaning inside and out. Uh, this is 100% complete, there's nothing missing. Uh, it's in really good shape for a 20 or 42 year old radio. I mean, it is a beautiful radio and it sounds really good too. Um, now after replacing the 3D printed piece and realigning the heads, I could not get music search to function correctly. It, it was really funky and it would jam up the cassette mechanism. Now if anyone else is replacing these uh, 3D printed versions, which work really well too, there I'll put a link down in the description there from Analog Alley. Uh, they're a little bit expensive but worth it. Uh, as you can see, <clears throat> I also had to mess with the uh, meters too because they the one on over here was a little off and it was really messing with my OCD so as you can see now that it was it went up just a little bit more than the other one but now you can see they're both uh, perfect and you have to be real careful with that because you can really mess it up if you're not paying attention to what you're messing with uh, they're very very um, uh, skittish but I got that working. Now what we'll do is we'll go over to, as you can see, obviously the radio works fine. <clears throat> we'll go over to tape. This is the part that fails on 100% of these units. And if you, once you, you can see that everything's working great. I adjusted the tape speed. As you can see it's working great. Now this is part that was, that was, uh, <clears throat> really hard to figure out is the music search system so if I were to go over by one and press fast forward it would jam it would jam up and I'd have to go in and mess with it and to unjam it I have to take the whole unit apart and, and I'm like man this is starting to get real frustrating the reason why that happens is because you have to have a really good tension on the belts because there's a lot of um, <clears throat> moving parts in here and there's a lot of uh, what not pressure but a lot of uh, tension uh, what's the word I'm looking for but anyway if you don't have enough grip on that belt that belt has to be fairly tight really tight uh, otherwise it will jam up your music search system and that was really frustrating to me and I finally figured it out but as you can see, everything is working perfectly. It's a beautiful example of a GE Blockbuster. And I'm really, really, really uh, ecstatic that I was able to get it up and running 100%. I mean, it's really hard to get one of these. If, if you don't know what you're doing and trying to mess with the cassette deck, it could uh, you could do a lot of damage. But fortunately, I had the skills to, to pay the bills when it comes to this kind of stuff. <clears throat> Anyway, I just want to put this quick video out and showing off this beautiful example of a GE Blockbuster. I also have the realistic version of this and it was doing the same exact thing. It would jam up, but I had I didn't I fixed this one before I fixed that one and I'm going to put a video up of that once I change out the belt and fix the issue with that because that one's in beautiful condition too. Now here's the exciting part. These are both going up on eBay and because uh, we're moving into a very small uh, RV trailer, we're going off grid, so I'm not going to be able to hold on to all these. 
So if you really you want a beautiful near pristine condition version of a GE Blockbuster, it's 100% working. Look out for the uh, eBay auction that I'll be probably putting up within the next month. But I, I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you know if you're ever attempting to fix one of these things, just be aware. <clears throat> Make sure those belts are super tight. Not super tight, but tight enough where it, it can do all the functions without slipping or anything like that. That's the most important part. Alright folks, you have a good day.